It's been really, really hot out here. So today we're just taking it a little easy. Just filling this up right now. Today's gonna be spent in the pool with the kids. I've just been relaxing with them really. Um, but it was time for me to come out here now and take care of some of the chores. Let's see how the chickens are doing after setting up this water for them. I don't think they've been using it. I don't know. Gotta see how much water is even in here. There's some water in there, not much. So pretty sure most of it has uh, leaked out. So I showed you on the video where you saw us setting this up. I just have to fix that right there. And I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Today, I'm not doing anything. Um, just standing out here trying to figure out to see, trying to see if they're using it. Not sure if they are. Let's see. There's some water. See, their mouths are open. It means they're hot. There's no way around that. They're still going to be hot. Kind of got to do it for them. That's how they learn. Once one does it, they'll all get to it. It just takes one, one animal to do something, and then the rest follows. So, let's see. This is another thing that they do. See all these little mounds right there? That's just them giving themselves a dust bath. It's a little bit cooler down there, so that's something that they do. As you can see back there, she's just chilling in there. Her, her. That's something that they do, and it helps with keeping themselves healthy away from, you know, any types of lice or anything like that getting to them. I think he got it. I think he figured it out. Come on. I think he figured it out. I'm not sure. Come on, hit that nipple. Hit that nipple. Maybe I don't have the smartest chickens. <laughs> they ain't got it yet. They'll get it. They'll get it one day. So this is something to do, just so you guys know. Whenever you have animals, the, the thing that you want to do is Every now and then, you just want to come out and hang out with them for a little bit. This is how you can tell if they're sick. Um, this is how you can tell if whatever you did for them is working. And, you know, this this is just a good way to, and to interact with them. So they, you don't want to just come out, feed them, leave, feed them, leave. Like, you want to hang out with them every now and then. Um, obviously, if you are growing food, like if you're growing animals for consumption, you know, you don't want to really build too much of a relationship with them, but you still want to be around them long enough to know so that they can get to know you a little better and so that you can get to know, you know, what they're doing, like as far as health conditions and all, because you'll, you'll, they'll show signs. If you're around long enough, if you're just going out to feed them and leave, you probably won't be able to tell whether or not they're sick or if something's going on. Like I remember not too long ago, one of the chickens, she had like a bad limp. And so, and I noticed she wasn't roosting. So, you know, we set her aside and we put her by herself so that she could heal because if not, they'll just pick on her. And that was actually starting to happen. They were starting to pick on her. So, you know, those are just things that you want to do when you have animals. You do want to spend some type of time with them. Oh shoot, this is overflowing. All right, so just finished giving them their water. And I'm just going to leave this out here because we're going to be moving them later. And so wherever we move them to, I got to create a new little spot for them where they could get cooled down at. I don't even know where I'm going to put them at because we haven't cleared off any space for them. So we got to figure that out. All the space back here, they pretty much touched already. And we don't want to keep get we don't want to keep having them on it. Then that kind of destroys the land. We're trying to improve the land. So we'll figure it out though. We'll get a new spot. So right now I'm just gonna go and put some uh, bean tools on the grill. Erica just made some. And then I'm gonna get in the pool. Have a nice little pool day. So if you guys wanna know, so we just got out the pool, the kids, tired. So now if you guys wanna know how to get things done all day, every day, coffee and espressos about to make an espresso we have this machine the breville the only thing that we don't like about this one i don't know if i just have to fix it but like if you can see here here i'll show you just a moment so if we, if we go here we have espresso americana latte whatever whatever right i made one says mikey so if i click on mikey 
look at these settings. As you can see, 20. That's the grind. Uh, that's how fine we want it. 20. And then 10 is the seconds. And then 23 is the brewing seconds. So, okay, look at that. If we come over here to Espresso, it's the exact same thing, except for this will be different because it is an Espresso, so that's just different. But the grind time and the grind, I don't know, the fineness of it or whatever, I guess, is the same. And if I change it here, let's say I change it here, then I go over to Mikey. It's changed there. So I'm not sure why they have different settings if it doesn't remember the settings for each individual setting. I don't get it. Just gonna go move them right now. Um, still a little early. Wanted to move them a little later because it's not even time to really feed them yet. We are gonna be butchering them soon. I'm actually talking to a few people that I know that were interested in some pork so just gonna be selling halves and holes and quarters um you know depending on what they want but yeah that's just how we're gonna do it just so we could get this lamb just so we could get rid of these guys and get the lamb in so this is how we usually clear things up back here um this is a new spot they haven't been right here yet there's no grass or anything but doing this has been helping get everything cleared up. That's pretty much how we got all that cleared up on the other side. Just every time we move them, we clear up some more area. And then next thing you know, we got a lot cleared up. So this is how we do it. This is what a slow day looks like. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you somewhat how this is done. If you've been watching the channel, sorry, Eric is cooking, so usually she would record me doing this, but she's cooking, so I'm a little bit out of breath right now too. All right, so what we're gonna be doing right now, let's get these, we'll set up these plates first right where they're gonna be going. Then, lift it up. Come on. Come on, come on. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. They will follow the food. Come on. Pour a little bit in there. All right, just a little bit, just enough so that I can take down this fence and put it up. And this is how I do it. Just lay it on the ground first. Actually, I'll poke these in just because they're right here eating. Next to it, we have like these trees in the way. So I don't, gonna see. Then I kind of work backwards now. Now I will get their energizer to see this is where they were at. They were totally overdue. I like moving them every seven to 10 days. That was their little puddle. And they were here for about 15 days or so. They were here for like double the time. Um, this is where they were at before. And then just pick this up. It's pretty easy. I can still lump it over. This is very, very, very lightweight. And this... Um, This gate bends, so I can just go right over it. No problem. As long as put it right here where there's really no sticks at, right there. And then I'll go get hay for them. 
So it's basically all it is. Um, we'll fix this up right here a little bit. It's easy. Uh, for Carter and Elizabeth, it's the same exact setup, except theirs is a little bit tougher because they have a larger fence, a longer fence. But good thing about those pigs, they also listen a little bit more. So give them the rest of their feed. And as you can see, Charlotte is eating off the ground. And there should be on the ground, there should also be like walnuts and stuff from the trees. And so whatever, I guess the squirrels didn't get or whatever, they'll, they'll find, as you can see, it's all, it's all here. They already kind of chewed up everything here. As you can see all on the ground. So it helps us with feeding them as well. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Like I said, we will be posting a video every single day of this month. There may be one or two days that we won't post and, but I'll try to see what I could do to get those videos out for those couple of days that we have some things going on. For instance, Friday's video, the video that was about us giving the pigs water, I believe. I had to edit that video while we were at a wedding. It was funny because we were sitting there with a couple that we had just met and we were having a conversation and then I forgot. I'm like, wait, I got to edit this video. So I got on my phone. I didn't say anything to anybody. I was just like listening through my phone. And that's why there's no title. There's no ending. It's just pretty much raw, like a raw video. And I don't even, I didn't even watch the video back to be honest. I just tried to do the best I could do. Then I had to tell the gentleman, his name is Mike. I'm like, I'm sorry. This is this is why I've been on my phone for the past half an hour trying to edit a video. And then they actually were all they're all into the homesteading life. So we ended up having a whole big conversation about that throughout the night. But yeah, link in the bio. Um, if you guys want to purchase any merch from us, uh, the link is in the bio. Thanks for watching again. Peace.